these are the tools re required in order to remove the X clamp and uh, remove the old thermal compound and uh, place the new thermal compound. In case if you decide you're gonna solder onto C5R11 point, then you have to remove uh, the X clamp. And obviously, once you remove the X clamp, ideally you would want to uh, just replace the thermal compound as well. Uh, the tool that'll be using. Uh, to remove the X clamp is from Executor Unlock Kit version 3. So that's the tool. It's a very handy utility. This helps in opening up uh, the X clamp. Uh, very, uh, it makes it a lot easier with this tool. You can also use, uh, if you don't want to buy this, you can also use Microton Precision Screwdriver, but it takes a long time and uh, yeah, you need a bit of practice if you want to use that. So we'll be using or we'll be showing you how to replace the. Uh, X clamp using this tool. Uh, in order to clean the old thermal compound, you can either use isopropyl alcohol or you can buy Wharton Total Clean stencil cleaner from our online store as well. So these two are available, and you need some cotton balls. In order to place the new thermal compound, you can either use Arctic Silver 5 or you can use Team Executor thermal compound as well. In order to evenly distribute the thermal compound on the GPU unit, uh, you need a scrape tool like this. Uh, a bigger one or you can use the smaller scrape tool spreader uh, if you don't have any of these don't worry about it you can pretty much use any thick plastic card